Welcome back to your Mountie Nation station, Northwest. As always, I'm Chelsea DeVolder. And I'm Megan Cameron. Let's get on with the show. To start off our show, we have Teacher's Talents with Josie Bradford. This week, she talks to Mr. Collins about what it was like to play college soccer. Hi, I'm Mr. Collins. Um, I teach math and sometimes theater at Northwest High School. And um, when I was in college, I was on a travel soccer club team my freshman year. I went to Taylor University. It's a small liberal arts Christian college in Upland. And I mean, we we had to learn to play together as a team. Um, sportsmanship was important. Just learned that the harder you work, the more time you spend doing something, the better you get. Following that, we have Lowdown on Mountie Town with myself and Abby Christner. This week, we get to know a little bit more about Gibson Way. My name is Gibson Way. I'm a junior at Northwest High School. I have a dad. His name is Brad, and a mom. His name is Marnie. They're happily married, and my sister is Kennedy, and she's up at Michigan State at college right now. She's a freshman. All right. I play baseball and basketball. I'm a shortstop from baseball and a shooting guard in basketball. Um, I'm involved in Peer Connections and it's a class where a group of kids work with the special needs kids and it's a pretty cool class. I've gotten to know a lot of them and build special relationships with them. In the summertime, we always go to my grandma's house. She lives out in Pleasant Lake and we have a boat and a pontoon there and that's always fun to go on hot days. I have a couple important people in my life. One is my grandpa. Uh, we do a lot of things together and we've built a special relationship over the years. Another one is my two little cousins, they're twins, and they're about three years old, and I just really like to spend time with them because they're fun. My favorite part about baseball is the connections I've made. I've been playing shortstop right next to this guy at third. His name's Jake Maples. So me and my grandpa, you know, we golf and we hang out. We do a bunch of stuff together. We like to watch Michigan State basketball games and football games together, and he's told me multiple times I'm the favorite. That's not surprising, but it's just something I like about my grandpa. <laughs> All right, my name is Gibson Waite, and that's a little bit about me. To keep our show rolling, next we have Tasty Times with myself. Were you on this episode? I was, and we got to taste different types of Pop-Tarts. I thought I did pretty well. It was a little tough. It was. But to follow that, we have our very own Mr. Bonchegger show. This week, he tells us a little bit more about what the Bond has to offer. And speaking of the Bond, our very own Meg Moffat and Connor Sheffley made a Bond video where it goes more into detail about what the Bond is and what it offers for all the schools. There. Look, put it on your head and then I'll tape it. You ready? You'll get my hair in it. Oh! I'll put this, I'll put this. Am I doing it? Oh! I love Pop-Tarts. They're amazing. Like, I had one, like, today during lunch, so I love Pop-Tarts. I love Pop-Tarts. Like, they're such a nostalgic food for me. What? <laughs> Even though I'm only 15, like, Pop-Tarts... I used to eat Pop-Tarts all the time, especially brown sugar and cinnamon, but now my favorite is cookies and cream. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. I'll just sit here all day just eating Pop-Tarts. Let's go. Ooh, I know what one this it is, feels girl. Like you it. <laughs> it's cinnamon. I bit it and it's still breaking off a piece. That's all. Yeah. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah. It's cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Or brown cinnamon. Brown, brown sugar. sugar. Brown sugar. That's what it is. Definitely brown sugar. Ooh, blueberry. No. Doesn't taste like strawberry. The only other one I've seen is blueberry. I'm saying blueberry. I have to say blueberry too. Is it strawberry or cherry? It could be cherry. Oh, I don't know. This might be strawberry then, yeah. Okay, your second guess is strawberry? Strawberry. It's cherry. Damn. <laughs> is this like the strawberry? Oh yeah, it's strawberry. Oh yeah. Definitely. Wait. Cherry? Oh! Cherry. Cherry. Sprinkles? Has sprinkles. Definitely has sprinkles. Maybe. Strawberry, maybe? If Brian has to break it. Yeah, you can try it now. Ever tried it? Oh! <laughs> I'm hungry. Mm. It's not strawberry, because strawberry is like more strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cherry? It's cherry. Ah. Uh. 
Welcome back, Northwest. I'm Zachary Summer. I'm joined by Mr. Bontrager here to talk to us about the bond that's coming up soon. Hey, Zachary. Yes. Go Mounties. Go Mounties. All right, the bond. First, before I get into uh, some of the specifics, uh, just a reminder to any of you kids that are going to be 18 uh, by uh, Tuesday, May 8th, uh, please make sure you vote. Please make sure you, I should say, register to vote. We definitely want you to vote on May 8th, but you need to register to vote. And you need to register by, to vote by April 7th. And that deadline is coming very quickly. So if you are 18 right now, or you will be 18 by May 8th, make sure you register to vote uh, by April 7th. If there's if you have any questions, please contact my office uh, or Ms. Haid uh, for more information. Also, you can find out all kinds of information uh, regarding the entire scope of the bond on uh, nwbond.com or nwschools.org. Again, that's nwbond.com or nwschools.org for full information regarding the bond. Zachary, would it be okay with you if we talked a little bit about um, some of the uh, improvements, enhancements at, at the uh, secondary or, or the high yeah. school level? Yeah, that would okay. be really cool. I'm okay. really interested to learn about that. So, what I would like to focus on today, just today, one of the aspects is the, the, the wing and outs at the high school, which would be our fine arts. So that would be building a new band room, a new choir room, and a new theater room. Um, this program, these programs are fantastic and they're growing and they need more space. So uh, again, that they'd be spacious, they'd be 21st century, and we really want to support the, our fine arts program in, at Northwest. They're it's just really top notch. We have great people uh, with Mr. Mangiavellano, Mr. Snell, Mr. Collins, and the list goes on of, of the great programs they have. Uh, the other piece of this is the, uh, the manufacturing skilled trades uh, wing. Uh, there'd be an expansion there with, uh, with an additional manufacturing room, a skilled trades room, as well as an information technology room, mm -hmm. uh, IT room, which is just, those are hot topics right now. Yeah, really expanding. Uh, very much so. So uh, along with that, uh, the, the final piece of that is the athletics uh, area. Uh, we really hit the indoor piece of it uh, in the 2013 bond, but this time we're going to be talking about uh, uh, the athletic areas like, outside. Like the track and the football field along with yes. like the tennis courts as well. Yeah, so a new football field, um, and that would mean the tiles and the drainage, so it to be taken down to absolutely nothing and new uh, it's it, gonna be turf. dirt and pea rock and so a really great base with drainage and that tile work and then uh, put on the, the turf and that would be wow. synthetic turf and the reason we're talking synthetic turf is because it's unlimited use. Mm -hmm. So right now... Sometimes that field can get a little muddy right. and a little nasty. With, you're absolutely right, Zachary. Right now what happens is uh, we're very limited to the teams and the hours that can be used because it just gets muddy, it gets a mess. Yeah. With the synthetic turf, um, we can use it 24 hours a day, seven days a week if we want. A lot so, of the younger programs can utilize it as well. Correct. So not only the three football teams at the high school, but also the two middle school teams, all the youth teams. Our marching band, our award-winning marching band, Amazing can band. use it, and that is phenomenal as well. Um, we also are going to cut um, uh, additional soccer field lines into that field so that um, it, we could host a soccer tournament in which not only do we use our regular soccer field, but we could also use that, uh, that football field uh, yeah. as a soccer field as well. So. It's great spaces for, for everyone there. Um, mm -hmm. So a new soccer field, um, and that would be regular turf. I hear that uh, 
that soccer coaches and soccer people really love regular turf. And then we get into tennis courts, uh, and we our tennis courts are wore out and cracked, yeah. and there's six of them. For us to host meets, we really need eight courts, so we would move them to the southwest side of the high school, which there's more room, yeah. and build new tennis courts and a new track. And I want to point out that the track and the tennis courts and these spaces are not just for our students. Mm -hmm. This is also for the community. We welcome the community to come walk on our grounds. We welcome the community to use the track and walk on our track. We welcome the community that play tennis to come and enjoy uh, our tennis courts in the evenings or, or on Saturday and Sunday if they're not being used by our tennis team. So we're really working hard to make sure this these are community spaces. So yeah, we're excited about that. Emphasize the Northwest Community Schools. Correct. So Mr. Bonchek, before we wrap up the high school for the bond, I'd like to talk about the parking lot. So those are in pretty bad shape right now. They're looking good, aren't they? Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, the parking lots at every single building are, are just terrible. Um, mm -hmm. And the high school is no exception. Uh, both of the two major parking lots need to be completely, completely overhauled. We call that the site work. So not only will parking lots be... Um, redone but also in new but also all the driveways the sidewalks the curbs uh as well as the site lighting um that's very important it is and a part of that too is our our marching band is phenomenal mm -hmm. and although you know we're excited about the fact with a with a, a synthetic turf field they will ha be able to spend some time uh practicing on on that we also want to create a space in the in what we call the band parking lot out here, uh, which is uh, on the southwest corner of the high school. We want to make sure we part of the of the parking lot is lined with all of the specific lines the band needs, so they can mm -hmm. practice in the parking lot as well. Because again, we are here to support our kids that attend Northwest period. Well, and we yeah. want to make sure that, that we have the best for our kids, uh, whatever they choose, whether yeah. it's sports, whether it's band, choir, mm -hmm. theater, and some of mm -hmm. our kids pretty much do all of it. Yeah. So, um, Speaking of like the best exciting. things for our kids, we have hope, plan on getting new Macs and new software yes, for that the yearbook and the broadcasting well, program. Well, speaking of award winning, our uh, yearbook in journalism classes, uh, Miss Hayde and Mr. Uh, Woodruff, uh, they, they do just, I can't say enough Amazing of jobs. the great things. So it's time and there's going to be a, a full replacement of, of that uh, equipment and as you, as you mentioned with the, the Mac Lab and uh, we're excited about it uh, because it will really uh, help us as far as efficiency and, um, and it's time and we're yeah. excited about again, once again. Uh, award-winning program year in year out and we want to make sure that our kids have the uh, the equipment they need to to operate in, in the best capacity possible so another exciting piece of this yeah I think that's most of it for the high school all right Zachary we are Northwest go Mounties excellent thank you for joining us and have a great rest of your day you too Zach Greetings, Mountie Nation. This is Jeff Bontrager, Superintendent of Northwest Community Schools. I want to take a few minutes with you to talk about the upcoming bond issue. Vote on Tuesday, May 8th. That is the Improve, Expand, Inspire 2018 bond proposal. Just a reminder, you can find that at nwbond.com or, of course, at nwschools.org for more detailed information. Why the Northwest Bond? Northwest is diverse enough to offer unique programs and individual attention. to vibrant school community which stimulates the local economy and home values. Due to our positive culture, an increase in space is needed. 
Pupil State Aid pays for day-to-day operations. Just make sure you keep that in mind. And the 2012 facility assessment identified over $120 million in needs. And at this point, we have completed $40 million of those needs with the 2013 bond millage. And a big thank you for the yes vote on that in 2013. We've done some great things. And right along with that, this bond request addresses our immediate needs right now. Some important factors that a millage and bond revenue is used only for capital projects and capital improvements. Per pupil funding, however, is allocated for day-to-day operational costs for teaching and learning. And also a question that comes up often when we talk about contracting, contracting out transportation and custodial services, that was something that was heavily researched and it was the decision in order for the district to maintain and in some cases enhance quality student programming. For the high school, we are going to add six new classrooms. We are also going to add a chiller, which would allow us to have air conditioning throughout the building. The site work, which would be upgrading and replacing driveways, sidewalks, parking lots, and site lighting, and then also to remodel the commons area. That individual piece of that would be approximately $4.6 million. With the fine arts area, adding a new high school band classroom, a new high school choir classroom and a new high school theater classroom for about 4.2 million dollars skilled trades remodel which would be enhancing a manufacturing classroom information technology classroom as well as enhancing the skilled trades classroom that be the price tag of about five hundred and three thousand dollars Next piece for the secondary complex is the athletic complex improvements. That would be replacing the current tennis courts, replacing the football field with an artificial turf field so that we could use that to a greater extent. That would be also not only for our high school teams, middle school teams, but also for our Little Mountie football program, as well as our marching band program to practice on. Also, we'd be replacing the soccer field, replacing the track, upgrade stadium bleachers, lighting, as well as fencing. And then with our competition gym, which was our original gym, to add air conditioning, replace air ducts, and upgrade the lighting. And to finish off our show, we have Summertime Surfers with Austin Copeland. Northwest. As always, I'm Chelsea DeVolder. And I'm Megan Cameron. And, and this, this is your Mountie Nation, Nation Station. Station.